Do you want to protect your custom GitHub actions so they are not public anymore? Well, GitHub has just released a new feature that allows you to share your custom actions only within your organization, so you don't need to host them in a public repo anymore. But let's see how in this three minutes video. Hey, welcome back to Coded Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub Energy DevOps, and welcome to my new studio. Today's video is part of the three minutes series, so short videos, big value, hopefully. Right, as I've mentioned in the intro, finally we now have a way to protect our custom GitHub actions. As you probably know, until now, when you created a custom GitHub action, you had to store them in a public repo to be able to use them. And this meant that anyone on the internet that had access to GitHub was able to see your actions and use them or even copy them. And while this is not necessarily a problem per se, and in fact it encouraged open source, um, it may be a problem for some organizations that have some sort of IP in those actions or they want to keep them private to avoid security issues or other problems. And this is exactly where this new feature comes into play. Less than a couple of weeks ago, in fact, GitHub has made available the hosting of actions in internal repos. And this means that your actions are effectively private because internal repos can be seen only by members of an organization. There's a catch though on this being private. In fact, in the GitHub documentation, there's this um, kind of curious warning that says that if you make an internal repository in your enterprise accessible to GitHub action workflows in other repositories, outside collaborators on the other repositories can indirectly access the internal repository, even though they do not have direct access to the internal repository. They also mentioned that they can view the logs when the actions are used. But first, I would expect that to be the case. If I use an action, I want to be able to see the logs of that said action. And second, it is not clear if that is the only kind of access they have to this internal repo, or if uh, outsider accounts do have access to the internal repo in any other way as what they said, indirect access. I've tried to use this feature and I don't seem to be able to access the internal repo with an account that doesn't have permissions on that repo, but I think it's worth an investigation. With that said, let's see how we can enable our actions to be hosted on internal repos. But before we do so, hit the like button below if you're enjoying this video or you find it insightful. This will not only help this video to be recommended to more people so they can benefit from it, but also of course it would mean a lot to me. Thank you. All right, first thing you have to do is, of course, making sure that the repo where you want to host your actions into is internal. Just go to the repo settings, scroll down to the danger zone, click change visibility and make sure or select make internal. If you don't see the internal option, but only private and public, make sure the repo you're trying to use is part of an organization that belongs to GitHub Enterprise Cloud. Next, we need to enable the access to this repo from the GitHub Action workflows that will use our custom action. To do this, still in the settings section of your repo, find and expand the actions tab and click on general. Scroll down until you see the access section and here you can find the two options that allow you to access the repo from workflows in the same organization or even taking it a step forward, enabling the sharing to the whole enterprise. And that's basically it. Now you can reference your custom action from any GitHub Actions workflow in your organization or enterprise respectively. Just use the usual syntax, owner slash repo at version, where owner is the name of your organization, and you're done. Quick note, custom actions hosted on internal repos can only be used from uh, workflows defined in private or internal repos themselves, but not from workflows defined in public repos, even if they are in your organization. Also, at the time of recording, this feature is currently in beta, which means that things may change by the time it reaches GA. And also, as I said before, it's available only within GitHub Enterprise Cloud. Let me know in the comment section below if you're happy that this long-awaited feature is finally here. And also check out this video over here in which I talk about sharing entire workflows as templates in GitHub Actions. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave.